Okay, come and get it. It's go, go! I think my greatest memory, of, as far as television is concerned, is, is oh, oh Boy, the Jack Good Oh Boy show, which gave me my first ever really big break. And remember, when I say big break, it was really big. When I look back at Oh Boy, it's still one of the most innovative shows there's ever been, musically speaking. One of the few people that I would consider a director in that he would stand in front of you and say, okay, do the song. And he'd look at you like this, and you know, all this, and, and he'd go, I, I don't know. Um, one of the first things he said, look, I'll tell you what, it, sticks, it just looks like Elvis. He said, cut the sideburns off. When you come in tomorrow, I don't want any sideburns, and please, put the guitar down. So I'm standing there thinking, what am I going to do with my arms now? I've got a guitar to hold on to. And he'd say, okay, now I'll show you what to do. And he would talk me through. And he'd say to me, at this, when you get to this lyric, just turn sideways and look under your eyes, up at the camera. And he said, when you get to that lyric, just get your arm like this. And all simple little things that became, I thought, oh, I, can, I, I know what he's getting at. You know, you're actually now singing the words. Jack gave me the confidence, really, I think. That's when my confidence started. I had so much fun because you weren't just singing, which is what people expected you to do, but you were hosting the show. We were involved in in comedy sketches with great comedy actresses like Dandy Nichols and, and we had Aretha Franklin guesting on it. You know, it was just stunning. At that time, and it may have grown now, there were 400 million viewers for Eurovision. And I thought, wow, 400 million? So one in just one, one, one viewer every whatever it is, and I've got a million sales. Um, and that's what happened. I refused to sit with the other artists when the voting was going on. Because I, I just think that's too personal. So I locked myself in the loo with my guitar. When it was all over, I just heard tap, tap, tap. And I didn't even, I didn't even open the door, but Peter just said, I'm sorry, mate, you lost by one point. And I, I thought, I'm so glad I wasn't there.